Hey guys, back again with a training update. And this is training from the past month or so. Um, this is kind of just a log for me to clear out my phone so I can have a little bit more memory and, you know, put out another YouTube video. But first, let's show you the new apartment because it's really cool. All right, so my girlfriend and I moved here about a month ago now. This is the little kitchen. Take you out to the balcony. It's my grill. It's too big, so I had to take off one of the sides. The iron table. Got it from my mom. It's nice of her. Got some old coffee tables from the house too. End tables that match. Got my Compex. I also have these weights sitting here. I thought I was gonna use them, but now it's just a nice coat tree. A little 32 inch TV, might upgrade soon. It's the entrance to the apartment right here. Take you in to the bedroom. Oh, what's this? Oh, hmm. Well, you never know. Here's the closet, don't mind it, it's a little messy. I'm trying to light for you guys. Plenty big, washer and dryer. Here's where the magic happens. Mmm. Shower, bought a new shower head, installed that. The old one was a piece of crap. I can show it to you guys, right here. Literally the worst shower head I've ever used. Well, that's the apartment. Got a few pictures hanging. That's about it. Hope you guys liked the video. I need a haircut. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so we're doing a little voiceover action. This is my training for the past month or so. Here's some squats. I think this is like 408 or something. And I'm just cranking out the reps. I think I hit 10 here, which is technically a PR because the most I've ever squatted for 11 would be 405. And since this is 408 and I got it for 10, which is good because my squats have been kind of eluding me lately and this entire past month, I felt like I've been able to make really good progress as far as my squat's concerned. Putting it back's the hardest part. And sassy belt flick. All right, 4, 455 by five. So this is kind of like a milestone mark for me as far as strength goes, because the first time I ever squatted 500, I believe I hit 455 for four or five before I was able to do that. And it's been a long time since I've squatted 500. And then all of these reps moved pretty good considering um, my hip tightness. Because I believe the day before this I pulled 525 sumo and then just jumped straight into this. Um, pretty happy with how it looks overall. Um, able to maintain back tightness. My bracing looks pretty good. Not very much knee cave. Overall, really proud of that lift. And then this is the following week. I uh, was feeling like crap. And so of course, you know, why not hit a top single? Wasn't too happy with the speed, but overall for a 500 pound squat, like the way I was bracing and everything, this is a couple weeks after that. Come back for that 500 by two, really wanted three. But no spotters and no safeties wasn't going to try for the third. First one moves a little slow. The second one, though, comes around. And speed-wise, I like it a lot better. I definitely could have got three. Um, not about to make any excuses. It'll definitely happen in the near future. On to bench press. So bench has been moving better than it ever has. Um, I think I'm set up for a PR here pretty soon. 
that 325 by one touch and go. Another sassy belt flick. Here's 315 for one. Not an overall impressive weight, but I really like my positioning on that, and speed was great, and probably the best 315s ever moved for a single, so. 335 by one. This rep was the first time I benched 335 in quite some time, and it looks like it. It was hard, but I'm glad it went up. Started incorporating some slingshot work too. I think slingshot is arguably one of the best overloading tools. Um, I know a lot of people use bands or chains and things of that nature, but I really feel that the slingshot, having that weight in your hands, definitely makes you acclimate to heavier weights quicker. This 335 by one moves quite a bit better than it did the other day. So I'm making progression. And then this is another milestone mark for bench. So 315 for three, and I honestly like how all the reps look. This last one, I flare a little early for my liking, but definitely moves good. Speed-wise, that was really good. Use good leg drive. And then a 405 by one slingshot. It's also kind of another milestone thing for me. Um, last time I benched 365, I was able to hit 405 for a double in the slingshot, and that speed-wise, I may have been able to do it that day. So, Been messing around with sumo, trying to get into a better position. Um, I think end game for me, sumo is probably where my deadlift needs to go, but I've kind of made a pact with myself that I'll deadlift 600 conventional before I start seriously pulling sumo. As of right now, I'm just using it as an accessory lift. Um, this is my sumo pr as you can tell i come off the ground a little crooked but overall for a pr for me that's pretty clean i did this over at in spokane with a buddy named zach price i uh, went and lifted at his gym because my girlfriend's cousin was getting married and took advantage of that time to go lift with some like-minded friends This deadlift kind of took the life out of me. I like my positioning, but you can tell I really, really want to ramp. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to catch you guys next time.